Dear viewers, in today's presentation, we shall embark on an exploration of the principles and construction of a demultiplexer utilizing fundamental logic gates. A demultiplexer is a type of combinational logic circuit that features a single input line, 2 to the power of n output lines, and n select lines. Its function is to direct the data on the input line to one of the output lines. The specific output line receiving the data is determined by the binary status of the selection lines. It's worth noting that a decoder is essentially a specialized form of a demultiplexer, omitting the input line altogether. In the scenario where the select lines are both set to low logic, that is when S1 equals S0 equals 0, the data D at the input is directed to the output Y0, as depicted in the diagram and recorded in the truth table. When the select lines are configured as S1 equals 0 and S0 equals 1, the data D from the input is routed to the output Y1, as illustrated in the diagram. The data at this output can be either in a high or low state. When the select lines are configured as S1 equals 1 and S0 equals 0, the data D from the input is routed to the output Y2, as illustrated in the diagram, again the data at this output can be either in a high or low state. When the select lines are configured as S1 equals 1 and S0 equals 1, the data D from the input is routed to the output Y3, as illustrated in the diagram, Again the data at this output can be either in a high or low state. By analyzing the truth table, it becomes apparent that only a specific output is active at any given time. However, considering that the data input D can assume either a low or high logic level, and its specific value is not known, we will designate the active output based on the value of D as presented in the truth table. Typically, we would consider the high outputs to derive product terms or min terms. However, in this scenario, we must include D in the truth table instead of simply using one or zero logic. As a result, the Boolean expressions for all the outputs can be formulated as follows. Y0 equals D and S1 bar and S0 bar. Y1 equals D and S1 bar and S0 y2 equals d and s1 and s0 bar y3 equals d and s1 and we can implement the demultiplexer using basic logic gates as shown in the figure here we would require two not gates which provide the complements of s1 and s0 so to implement the min term y0 we need a three input and logic gate one of the input will get connected to S1 bar and another to S0 bar. Now to implement the min term Y1, we need the second three input and logic gate, one of the input will get connected to S1 bar and another to S0. To implement the min term Y2, we need the third three input and logic gate, one of the input will get connected to S1 and another to S0 bar. To implement the min term Y3, we need the fourth three input and logic gate, one of the input will get connected to S1 and another to S0. Lastly the D input is connected to one of the inputs of all the N gates as depicted in the figure here. In summary, within this lecture, we've examined the operation of a 1, 2, 4 D multiplexer and its construction utilizing fundamental logic gates. I trust that this lecture has provided here with valuable insights into the functionality of data distributors, commonly referred to as We extend our heartfelt gratitude for tuning in to this lecture. To explore more captivating technical and educational content, please stay connected with our channel. Don't forget to share and subscribe to iNet Tech Talk, as your support truly means the world to us.